Oh, oh hey, it's me, it's Shar People's Productions, and thank you very much for joining me today. So today, I've got something a little bit special in store for you. This isn't a playthrough, it's actually a video review, my first video review. And I'm not reviewing one product, but two products. Uh, so somewhat ambitious, it's probably going to be a bit amateuristic and a bit noobish overall, but I'm hoping it might be helpful for some of you. So stick around. Let's go. But first, a word from our sponsors. Rate? No, I'm joking. No sponsor. Let's just let's just go. So what are these products you're reviewing, Sharpie Pussums? Ah, oh, well, let me tell you, good sir or madam. The products I'm reviewing today are two forms of webcam. One is an application for your phone, and I do know you guys have phones, that you install on your phone. It transmits your camera signal from your phone to your computer and that acts as a webcam source. Freaking amazing, great quality. Phones have good cameras. Boom, it's a win. And the second product I'm reviewing is a new premium webcam that came out in 2021 called the Razer Keo Pro. And I've recently upgraded to this and I'm gonna show you exactly the differences and how it handles different light situations from darkness to harsh light coming from the window to maybe monitor light only. And um, I'll show you the ups and downs of both webcams and uh, hopefully help you in making a decision if you want to spend that premium premium moolah on, um, on a webcam, or if you maybe just wanna spend a couple of bucks, a couple of pounds, bucks sounds weird. I never use the word bucks because I'm British. Um, but yeah, if you wanna spend a couple of bucks on an app and then turn your phone into a HD webcam, I'd say that's a good alternative as well. So let's get to it. Let's get to this review right here. Okay, it's me, I'm back. And as you can see, I'm simultaneously running my phone and my Razer Keo Pro right next to each other. And I'd actually be interested, um, what do you think? Which webcam do you think is which? Let me tell you, if you would say that webcam on the right is the Razer Keo Pro, you'd actually be wrong. That's my phone. That, sorry, that is the Razer Keo Pro. So, disclaimer, these are out of the box settings and by out of the box, I mean I haven't added any filters or any, uh, I haven't adjusted the exposure. Um, and both of them at the moment are running on 1080p. But the difference is the Razer Keo Pro is running at 60 FPS, whereas my phone can only get to 30 FPS. So if I move a lot, you're going to see the Razer Keo Pro actually keeps up quite nicely with that, whereas yeah, the, the phone cam sort of, you get a bit of blurriness. So, but you know, you've got to think. One costs 200 and the other costs, we'll say $5 at most if you want the premium HD. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go back a second. Okay, now we have something a bit more interesting. So as you can see, there's a, a bit of an improvement with the Razer Keo Pro now, right? It looks a bit more bit more natural, bit more detailed, um, less harsh light, more human. The reason is the Razer Keo Pro comes with something called HDR mode and it is freaking awesome. It basically, it, it allows the webcam to become Bane. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. It, it loves the darkness and it adjusts everything perfectly. It, it's got, you know, this high dynamic range. So all the colors pop out more as they should. Um, the darks become lighter, the lighter becomes as it should. Oh, it's just amazing. So at the moment, both of these webcams are actually uh, functioning at 1080p 30, because when you enable HDR mode for the, um, for the uh, Kio, it drops down to 30 FPS. But it's one of those things that you have to, you know, sacrifice. Do you want the HDR? If so, I'm going to take away those 30 FPS. But, you know, at the same time, I think it's worth it. So let's uh, let's hop to it. This is the Razer Keo Pro, as you can see. You can see a nice lot of the room here. See the, the wolf, the blizzard wolf up there. You can see Lincoln Park. See the stickers, nice color ranges and everything there. And on the phone cam. Same again, I look very pale here, very light. Um, I've got a window here, so that's my light source. 
Um, again, though, you know, stickers look great. The Wolf is, uh, the phone cam has a slightly less uh, field of view, so I do apologize for that, but uh, maybe I can move it. Yeah, there you go. Let's try it like that. So you can see the the wolf up there, not as detailed in this mode, you know, it's um, it's still great. You know, you've got to remember this is a five pound, five dollar uh, webcam, essentially. It's just your phone, like submitting its camera as a webcam. It's awesome. So, you know, nothing bad to say, but if I had to choose, I choose the Razer Kyo. It just, it looks more natural. The colors pop, everything just looks great in my opinion, but maybe you prefer the, uh, the phone cam, you know, they are somewhat similar, you know, there's not a huge difference going on. It's just the colors, but you've got to remember as well, these phones, uh, they come with like filters and stuff. You can, you can have a good time. So let's, uh, let's pop on to the next, next stage. Okay, so uh, I actually wanted to do this stage in real time. I'm actually gonna be uh, lowering my blinds so it gets darker in this room and we can see exactly what happens between both of these because um, I think you're, we should find that the, uh, the Razer Q Pro should, in theory, love it. Whereas the phone, not so much. <laughs> Okay, so blind is completely down, no light coming in. Um, these haven't auto adjusted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, auto adjust them both right now and we'll see what the quality looks like. But as you can see, again, the phone cam on the, on the right here looks very pale. This actually looks quite good. And you know, you've got to remember this isn't auto adjusted at all. So yeah, let's, uh, let's auto adjust. Okay, so these phones are now, uh, sorry, phones. This phone and this webcam are now actually adjusted uh, automatically by themselves. And still, you know, the the pictures are pretty good. I'd say the Razer Kyo Pro is picking up that red glow, which I have from my monitor, because uh, I've got a background that is very red. So the, the Razer Kyo Pro in HDR mode is picking up that red and it's showcasing it on, on my face and my portrait, which is great. Whereas the phone cam, it looks quite um, like almost like a palette effect. It's very, um, how do I say it? Like almost like cartoonish cell shaded maybe, or I, I don't know the correct term, but um, I think you'll agree when you're looking at both of these, the, uh, the Kyo actually looks uh, a little bit better. And there we go for the room again, just to give you an overall view. So you get a really nice sort of, you know, you can even see on that wall behind me, the monitor light coming. And this is the only light source we're using at the moment. And the Razer Kyo Pro, uh, sorry, the phone cam here, you know, still doesn't look bad. You, If you were streaming, like, you know, you could invest in a nice ring light or some nice backlights, and this would look perfect in my opinion. I do not have that sadly, but um, you know, it's always an option. Okay, and here we are again. This is uh, the Razer Kyo Pro on the left. And as you can see, I've enabled 1080p 60 FPS. So this is without HDR mode. And in this particular circumstance, I have to say the phone does a much better job in the darkness. So, you know, if you do have a dark room and you maybe stream at night, HDR mode on the Razer Kyo Pro is amazing. It really just allows you to stream without any lighting uh, needed other than your monitor, which is uh, great. But you know, uh, as you can see, phone cam does a really decent, decent, um, decent job here. And that's amazing. Now we're going to actually um, do a different lighting situation. I'm going to turn on my ring light. This is a very small ring light, so it's not gonna be generating a huge amount of light, but enough to lighten up this room since we are set in the dark right now. Okay, as you can see, both of them actually look really good. I'd say the Razer Kyo Pro, again, the colors stand out more. It looks a lot more natural and realistic. The phone cam, if I'm honest, looks very gray and washed out. And I kind of look a bit dead and old and I don't like it. <laughs> but again, you know, you can adjust these settings in the applications and um, oh, the, the phone cam is auto adjusting as well. Um, I did turn that off. You, you have to turn auto focus off on the phone, but um, it's, it's not doing too bad. Um, 
So again, this is HDR and with the light on. And uh, let's do HDR off on the Kio and try it once more. Uh, first though, I'll quickly just show you the room again. Room looks good. Less of that light at the back now, you see, because we've got the uh, the ring light, It's the light is focused on me. And so the, the back of the room is less visible with the monitor glow now. And here, I'd say, you know, that's a pretty decent quality. You know, five, this is what $5 gets here. It's pretty decent. Okay, on to the next, HDR off. Okay, and here we are with HDR off. So this is uh, the Kia running on 1080p60 again. And that ring light is very visible. That's on its lowest settings as well. So um, let's just, I'm going to try just moving the ring light up a tiny bit so it's less focused on me and more there. But no, it's still very bright. It picks up those bright, uh, the Kia really does pick up the bright lights very clearly. Um, you know, maybe that's not a bad thing. Maybe I just need to put my ring light further away, but uh, let's try the different options. I've got a few cycles here. So we have the warm light. Again, you know, if clarity wise, the phone cam is a lot clearer here. And if I had a, a bigger ring light, I think the phone cam would actually be a more suitable candidate here for than the Kia Pro because like the phone cam is picking up that light and you know not blurring my face too much and it's doing a good job so yeah nice one that's the bright one so again phone cam doesn't really react the phone cam picks up this really well okay and the light one. okay and that's it so let's turn those off and um yeah, let's go back to um, a harsh lighting setting. So windows are going to be wide open here. Okay, so the windows are wide open. Um, Kia Pro is on 1080p60 and looks fantastic. The phone cam looks pretty damn good as well. Uh, if I had to say, I'd go with the, the Kia Pro just because it's got that nice glow and uh, just the colors are a lot better with the skin and everything just looks a lot nicer. But uh, let's give a view of the room. So room looks great as usual. That's fantastic. Nice one, Keo. And the phone cam holds up pretty well as well. I th the, the phone cam is just missing those like sharp, vibrant colors, you know. You could turn the saturation up a bit, but um, you know, that would be unfair in this review because I'm keeping everything on default settings. So yeah, fair enough. There we go. Uh, let's try HDR on, on the, uh, the Keo. Okay, and this is HDR mode on the Kia with that bright light coming from the window. Um, as you can see, the phone cam picks up that bright light very well and absorbs it into my face and I look very pale. I hope I don't look that pale in real life, but maybe I do. Whereas the Kia Pro, again, just gives me that nice complexion that I kind of don't think I really have in real life, but I wish I did. Um, but anyway, the Kia Pro is um, taking my flaws and making them beautiful. So love it. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Razor, for that. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I think as we can agree here that the Kia Pro, again, just wins on um, on this aspect. It's just the detail, the color, the saturation, everything with the Kia is just so nice. Whereas the phone cam, very bright, harsh colors kind of thing, um, a bit washed out in some aspects and kind of like it really enhances my flaws like you really see my bags and my red nose and everything you know whereas with the Kio I kind of look normal and I like that like you can still see a little blotch of red here you can see my spots here for example but if you compare this like now let's get a bit closer if I compare this to this like I think I look a lot worse there now what do you reckon probably side by side yeah maybe i look as bad in both yeah i don't know but anyway um that's it i'm gonna leave this uh this up here and we're gonna just walk through um my final thoughts on uh on this hello everyone and just one final thing i wanted to show you is the software within the razer Kio pro just to uh, give you a heads up on what you're getting. So uh, this is Razer Synapse here, and we've got autofocus, which you can turn off. And, um, you know, if you're in a bright light, usually during the day, I will 
manually turn this down like that and leave it around there just just to avoid auto adjusting because you know the light changes a lot outside and sometimes it auto adjusts and it's annoying uh, we've got hdr mode so this is 1080p 30 at the moment i'll switch it off 1080p 60 as you can see a lot brighter here those um you're losing that color and like uh, that blend that you get with HDR. So to be honest, most of the time, I'd say 90% of the time I have HDR on just because uh, I think it looks awesome. Um, your field of view, I use narrow because I've not got much to showcase in this room. But if you do have a really cool room and you want to showcase a lot of things, I'd recommend medium personally. Um, you're probably wondering, wait, why medium? Why not wide? Surely if you've got a big room, you want wide. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me show you why I wouldn't recommend wide. That is why I would not recommend wide like uh, one. Sorry, just gonna move this that way a bit. Uh, so look at the, on that, look at this line here. That is completely fishbowled. Are you a fish? Because I don't think you are. I don't think any fishes are watching this. I'd like to be uh, proven wrong. So if, if you are a fish and you're watching this video, please let me know in the comments. Um, but you know, to me, that's too fish bowly. I don't like it. Maybe you do, maybe fish love it, I don't know. Um, but for me, narrow, narrow is the way. Over here, you've got your standard filters, uh, I like to call them. So, you know, your, your brightness up and down and whatnot. I honestly keep it on default or vibrant. If I'm streaming at night, I find it, handles the color a lot better and um previously in the video when i was streaming at night i don't know if you noticed but on that wall behind me just here there was a lot of noise on the webcam and i found that if i switch to vibrant and i turn like the saturation down a bit and whatnot you can get rid of that noise that was a bad example and i should have fixed that but um honestly i i just I can't be bothered to go back and fix it so i'm i'm addressing it now but uh, as you can see you also have these other uh, things here you've got gain here and you've also got backlight comp which can also help to reduce noise it's either on or off it just makes it a tiny bit brighter good for those dark situations um sharpness i leave on 129 but i have found if you turn the sharpness all the way down also that noise disappears so honestly i'm leaving the sharpness on like around like 100 but 75 to 100 i'd say um, and finally, all the other controls in there are what you've got behind it there. So, uh, one cool thing is zoom. You can, oh gosh, look at that. Um, yeah, so you can zoom and reveal all your flaws to everyone if you like. Uh, focus, we've got it on autofocus at the moment, but again, same, same as the focus bar that appears. Exposure, same thing, you know, you can whack that up and down, but, um, I, I keep it on auto exposure. Um, it's, it's basically this essentially. Uh, I'll turn it off and show you. So yeah, you don't want to be messing around with that. So I keep it like around the middle, but keep it on auto. It seems good. It seems to handle and know what it's doing. Low light compensation. You want that on if you're streaming at night, obviously. And that's the software. I would show you the droid cam software oh, or actually I can quickly. It's, uh, it's nothing too, too crazy. Um, that's not going to connect because my phone is off, but basically You've got these settings. These are the two premium features here. Uh, that's what you get by default. So you can test it out for free and you'll get 480p and 720. Um, and yeah, they've got, and as for the filters, it's exactly the same as this. Like you get these pretty much in uh, Android cam. So, you know, that, that was the software. Hope it was, uh, hope it was helpful. And there we have it guys that is the review um i as i said at the beginning i didn't want to go into too much of the technical specs between the razor keo and the phone cam because this was kind of just like uh more of a very kind of basic review on my experience with it and if maybe you know you might have the same experience so just to sum it up um razor keo pro am i happy with it yes i am uh awesome webcam overall really crazy good quality i'm using it now in uh, 1080p 60 mode um and yeah to be honest for me it was a worthy upgrade just because of 
the key factors which were one it's a more permanent webcam that i can leave on my desk and plugged in i don't have to muck around with ip addresses and software and charging and everything it's just there and you know it makes it so much easier uh the second thing is because i often stream at uh, at, uh in the evening at 9 30 p.m it's obviously very dark and this room isn't the best lit room to be honest i've got like a, a lamp over in the corner i've actually got a, a ceiling lamp you can probably see up there but it's uh crazy bright because there's four bulbs there and they're very bright like very harsh bulbs so i don't usually use that so for me being able to stream with just a ring light and the monitor uh, and the razer keo pro handling that is like perfect for me to be honest so that is another and the main reason I'd say why, why I'm really happy with this upgrade. So, um, yeah, I, I haven't got much more to show you, really. Like, um, I'll, I'll let you be the judge of which you think was uh, better. And if you think the Razer Kyo Pro is worth the money or if you think it was maybe better to stay with the um, the phone cam and invest in some better lighting or something, you know, that that's always an option. Um, I'd say that's that's probably the line there, you know, you have to decide you're going to use a phone cam and get yourself like a full light setup, you know, maybe have a, a ring light here and then another light coming from this and this and stuff, because then you'd be able to have amazing quality, to be honest, because uh, the, the phones these days, the cameras on them can produce really, really nice uh, uh, like webcam output. So, so yeah, um, whereas the Razer Keo Pro is kind of like, can you be asked with all the lighting set up or do you just want a webcam that can, you know, handle any room situation? And uh, yeah, to be honest, I'm I'm all up for the Razer Keo Pro. I gladly spend 200 on that and not spend another, you know, 80 or however much. I don't know how ring lights, uh, I've seen very expensive ring lights and other lights and stuff. So for me, Razer Keo Pro has it, but um, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like the video, chuck it a like. If you didn't like it, chuck it a dislike. Any comments, good, bad, or ugly, shove them in that comment section. And um, feel free to subscribe if you like the content. I'll hopefully be putting up more uh, reviews like this in the future. And um, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Peace out. Shopkeepers Productions.